I'm Billy Eichner from Bros. And I'm Luke McFarlane, and these are very important questions. I can open them. Explain what your film is about in only one 11 word sentence. Romantic, comedy, gay, smart boy. That's not a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I give up. Okay, you try. He's the writer. Oh my god. Come on. Romantic, comedy, gay, smart boy <laughs> is the sentence that Luke. Used to it said 11 rules. words. I mean, it, said a, it said 11. It no, did say 11 words. Let's, let's do a, a romantic Romantic comedy, comedy gay, gay smart, smart boy, hot boy. Okay. Um, fall in love. love. New York City. That's too many words. I know. Uh, <laughs> fall, in love. fall in love. Mostly. <laughs> fall in love. I, fall in love. I, I think that's a very nice sentence. It's like poetry there. But I don't like saying smart boy hot I don't boy either. That... Because his character is smart and I'm smoking hot. Yeah, I, that felt off. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Bros is the first gay rom-com released by a major studio. As great as that is, isn't it also sort of f***ed up? Yes, it is. Yes, it is, but we're remedying, remedying We're that. trying. We're trying. Yes. Here, let me read my notes. Um, what are the most overrated rom-com tropes? Overrated. Overrated. The meat cute. Because no one ever meets meat cutes in real life. In that, it, it's never that cute. It just kind of happens. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think also in real life, the scent, the 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 like little sentence that you remember forever. I can't. I can't imagine that happening in my own life, where someone said a thing that has lasted with me for. I can't even follow what you're saying right now. Yeah, so there it is. <laughs> there you go. People that speak. We don't like people that speak. Yeah. That's a trope. We should dialogue. probably. Dialogue. We should dialogue mention there's no trope, dialogue like, in our movie. It should just be explosions <laughs> and aliens. Perfect. What are the most underrated rom-com tropes? Mm, the run. I was going to say that too. The, 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 running, the running to each other. At to the each end. other. So when Harry met Sally, I'm running to you. Yeah on New Year's Eve or whenever it is. Yeah. It doesn't happen in real life, but it's nice. With the music underneath. The music is good. Exactly, the audience yeah. is, wants you to go there. It's satisfying. I yeah. mean, you know, giving people false hope, but it's still nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the original title of Bros was False Hope. False Hope. What cast member would make a great emergency contact? Oh, that's a good question. I would say Guy Branham, yeah. who plays my best friend. Henry? Ooh, that's a, that's a very good answer. Amanda? Oh, Amanda. Amanda, yeah, is, she's who plays mom. my mother, mother in the movie. My yeah. mother. Yeah. She, <laughs> she's dependable and smart and loving and... Maternal. Maternal. What question are you happy you weren't asked during this video? I'm glad I wasn't asked about, like, homophobia in Hollywood. Not that it doesn't exist, but just because that's kind of all people ask about when it comes to this movie, when the movie is so much of the stories, so many of the stories that I've been told in, in major motion pictures about LGBTQ people are often tragedies, and it's about the struggle of being LGBTQ, and Bros is very much about the joy of being LGBTQ and what's fun and sexy. It's just a funny, laugh-out-loud movie, so I'm glad not to have to talk about, you know, the uh, the struggle, although the struggle is real, don't get me wrong, but it's nice to not have to talk about it constantly. I, I was gonna say, uh, what was it like filming those sex scenes? Because we're professional actors, yeah, and it was uh, what professional actors do is yeah, we figure it out. Luke begged me to film them yes. and put them in the script, and yes. I did. Thank you. Phil. You know, I'm very very generous artist <laughs> that way. Art isn't a competition but why is this romantic comedy better than all the others? I don't think it's better than all the others, but um, I, I like the fact that it's a romantic comedy about a gay couple that, you know, has been given the same resources financially um, in terms of the way it was produced, the way that it's being distributed. Bros is going to be playing at over 3,000 movie theaters and multiplexes all over the country, big cities, suburbs, small towns, and then all over the world. And I think that's really cool. You know, we haven't gotten a lot of 
romantic comedies about a gay couple that get that type of wide release, that type of exposure. And I think it's important not just for gay people, although obviously that, but also for straight audiences to experience something new and fresh and funny. If you have to make a list of all the romantic comedies, I think we will always securely have a place as uh, the first gay one. Yeah. Yes, by a major studio. By a major studio. Yes. Don't cancel me, gay Twitter.